Hello and welcome back to part three of Lambretta Cooling. So, what happens on first detonation? The heat can be between a thousand and two thousand Celsius in combustion, depending on your ignition timing and your fuel air mixture. The weaker the mixture, the hotter the explosion. The more compression, the hotter the explosion. The more advanced the timing, also hotter the explosion. So this heat immediately goes to the cylinder head and straight away the flow of air is removing that energy. Heat is energy. So you've got energy in the cylinder head as you pass the air. The energy is passed to the air from the cylinder head. The same with the barrel. Now your piston, you're thinking, well, what's cooling my piston? There's one thing cooling your piston is fuel mixture. Your fuel and air mixture comes in behind the piston and the cool fuel on the piston and around the back of the piston on the back of the piston is what's cooling your piston. That's what's maintaining your temperature on the piston. Otherwise it would just simply melt down. So uh, our piston's being cooled by the cool mixture of your fuel so your fuel temperature is also important so on a lot of race cars and race bikes they keep the fuel cool on drag racing they refrigerate it before they put it in so it's actually really cool you need cool fuel to cool your pistons uh, our fuel being a two-stroke mix also relies on the two-stroke to lubricate the bore and the main bearings and the small end bearing so where's your main point your hottest time of your engine is when you decelerate if you're full bore you get you got maximum cooling coming in on the piston maximum lubrication so it's quite often that when you drop off the throttle especially if you go from full to closed that then cuts off the fuel supply cuts off your lubrication supply instant you've got a lot of heat going into the piston and it heats up very quickly therefore that's when you're most liable to get heat seizures so well as you can see i've just got myself a brew <sighs> nice tea and as i've stopped smoking a little while ago i've got this crap thing Oh yes, heavenly. So, um, let's get you straightened up a bit. You've gone all wobbly. There we go. So, what kind of temperatures are we producing in our Lambretta engine? Or, basically, any other engine? At the point of detonation, we're looking between 1000 and 2000 degrees Celsius. But after that, it dissipates really quickly into everything it possibly can. Piston, barrel, cylinder head, down through the piston, through to the con rod, through the crank, casings, everywhere. It just goes, that's what it does. It just goes to whatever's cooler is where it goes to. It's attracted towards it. So, looking at my crank here, this is one of my old race cranks. And as you can see, on the end of here it's gone purple that's because it was under some high pressure thrashing six hour endurance racing so the temperature that's been on this the end of this uh, con rod as it's purple is literally 426 degrees celsius so 426 degrees celsius was on the back of the piston now at this at this sort of kind of temperature you start getting flash point on your on your oil depending on what oil you're using two stroke oils try and use the best you can uh, synthetic oil now you can check what on your two stroke go online and look at its flash point this tells you at what point that oil burns off now if you get really high flash points for running around town it's not good because all it does is gunge up your engine the oil is designed to burn off at a temperature suitable for the engine that you're running so racing you need really high flash point oils 
round town lower flash point oil so it keeps the engine cleaner okay it just looks like my phone just got full up and i couldn't uh, record any more so that last little bit got cut off a bit short so where was i uh, i forget now anyway we'll carry on the other thing that we can go into is spark plugs now a lot of people including myself was in the misconception that if you put a, uh, a cooler plug in there that you're going to make the engine run cooler and i was wrong because it doesn't do that when you spark plug the inventor of the spark plug they had a problem when they first did it because they had to keep the plug clean so your heat temperature is all about keeping the plug clean not about keeping the engine cooler or hotter what it does is it maintains the cleanliness of the plug so you can keep the spark as good and bright as possible okay this is my ts1 barrel that i'm running this is my road dog that i've got to work and back on every day i run an oco car but what i've got is this bib basically on the back of the carb just push it on behind there and that literally stops that hot air that's coming up from my cylinder from hitting the back of the carburetor and boiling the fuel that really works it's massive difference i was hitting on the motorway and i'm like whoa what's this blacking off of power and and it was down to this it was down to the hot air flowing off the cylinder and hitting the back of my carburetor and uh, just boiling the fuel in the carb therefore just giving me fuel st massive fuel starvation once it had cooled down it'd be alright again and then back the problem would come again and it was from this so this has been on mine ever since and it works well this brings us to the end of my video I hope you've kind of enjoyed it so uh, don't forget to subscribe and bang that little bell and give me some thumbs up guys Lambrettas are the best.